What's up? Hey guys. Hi guys. So we are currently in Seoul, South Korea, and we are currently eating some tetio tetiyoboki. Sorry for the pronunciation. Yeah. We need in the comments. <laughs> tell us how you say it. Tell us how we say it. Um. So yeah, while we're here, while we're eating some really good food. We thought we would talk about our experience in Japan. We literally just arrived in South Korea yesterday, so we're fresh off the Japan train, and we just wanted to go over a few things with you. How good that looks! Oh my god! Hi guys, I'm Izzy, and I'm Jake. And one month ago, we quit our jobs and booked a one-way flight to backpack around the world. We have decided to make videos along the way of travel tips, advice, how to backpack on a budget, and general vlogs of what we get up to. If you would like to follow us on our journey, please subscribe and enjoy the video. Yeah, so Japan was amazing. Every single thing about it, like literally from head to toe, it was absolutely amazing. We had a fairly good time. It's a bit on the, the more expensive side, mm. um, which we'll explain more in the video. But we say the expensive side. It's cheaper than England. It's cheaper mm. than America. But it's the expensive side compared to the other places we're going to go to, like Thailand, Cambodia, um, Vietnam, mm -hmm. all places like that. Um, so yeah, so... Japan, so we stayed with Izzy's family for about half the stay, but we split it up. So the first two days, sorry, Izzy's uh, eating some really hot food. <laughs> the first two days, we spent it with Izzy's cousin. And the next nine days, we spent it ourselves in a place called Kawasaki. And then we went back to Izzy's um, cousin, cousin after for the rest of the duration of the stay. And we spent 14 days there. Um, I probably would have wanted to spend a bit more, <laughs> to be honest, because Japan was absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, yeah so, so out of the 14 days we were there, we spent a total of 10 days in Kawasaki and by ourselves and then the other, oh we were there for 15 days, so the other five we spent with family. Mm. Um, something I would really recommend by the way, if, if you have family members that live in other countries, if you can and if they're willing, take advantage of that. You know, a lot of people aren't lucky enough to have family members that live in other countries that can host them there, look after them, even be a point of reference. <laughs> really hot. <laughs> spicy. You'll notice what wusses we are with spice in this video. Yeah. But yeah, that's something I would definitely recommend. Um, obviously... We're, we're very lucky to have someone living in... Well, it, yeah. you know, I know not everyone is as lucky as mm. us, but if you do, don't be scared to message them because you're going to... It's going to sound... The worst they can say is no. But yeah, if the, they yeah. say yes, then you can, you know... What, it's seeing what family, but it's also yeah. helping you out because... You know, when we were there, we, we saved a lot of money on accommodation, stuff like that. It, it's just benefited us so much. But yeah, Izzy's family, like literally every single one that we went to there were like so amazing. They fed us so good. They treated us so well, mm. you know, like it was amazing. I was kind of sad to leave them, to be honest, they because they, so it felt like they're not my family. But when I was there, they made me feel like I was their family, if that makes sense. But obviously anyone who's at like, Izzy's family is my family. But, you know, the treaders were just so much mm. um, amazing. So yeah, while we were in Kawasaki, um, we've done numerous things. Mm. We so, stayed in a hostel guest house. I would, I think a guest house is the best way I would describe it. Mm -hmm. um, what I would say is it's um, probably, if, if you're a couple or a person by yourself traveling, but you still want the comfort of your own bedroom, but you don't mind sharing um, a kitchen or bathroom with other people, guest houses are probably the best way to do it because you have the comfort of your own, comfort and privacy of your own room, but the only thing you have to share is um, the kitchen and bathroom. And the place really that we good. stayed at was called the Rumor Inn in Rokogun. Rokogun. I'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, we'll put it up on the screen, yeah. Um, it was a really nice place. Um, really cheap. Really cheap for what you got as well. Um, and it was amazing, it was just, it wasn't far from everything that we wanted to see. Um, so one of the first days we went to a place called Yokohama. Now they had the most amazing Chinatown, which is the, insert the clip now, um, of, and it was absolutely amazing. I mean, it was so picturesque, it, it just felt mm. so lovely. The food there looked so fantastic. We didn't try anything, but the food there looks mm. absolutely fantastic. Um, and it was, it's just one train from where we were staying at. Mm. And when we got to Yokohama... The trains, by the way, sorry. Yeah. So easy to forget. Mm. We didn't get a SIM card, so we did the entire trip without any kind of mobile data. The only thing we did is, in the morning or any time, plan where we wanted to go. And then on Google Maps, put that in and it tells you exactly what train to get, what station. What time. And then when you get there, 
the stations are so easy there's signs everywhere there's... busy but easy mm. yeah so i would highly recommend getting trains around um japan uh this time we went i've been once twice before and um, this time we didn't get any bullet trains we stayed in the tokyo area um because we only had nine ten days and we just um i didn't get to see tokyo last time and I just I've never to been show to Jake as much yeah. of Absolutely. Tokyo no, no. and outer area as, as much as possible. Um, but yeah, so Yokohama was amazing. Amazing, really good. and we were dying for a, like a proper American burger before we got there. <laughs> and we found this American diner place, and the burgers mm. were absolutely fantastic. Another thing about Japan, their food is so healthy. But it's, we ate at McDonald's on one night, and I felt like crap. I felt like we both mm. felt like oh crap. Next day we ate something healthy. We felt amazing. It's just so good quality food, and it's so cheap. So, so cheap. It was absolutely amazing. Hmm. So, I feel like I've done a lot of talking, so I feel like you need to talk about next about where we did it after Yokohama. I'm too busy eating this amazing food. <laughs> so, after Yokohama. So, we didn't, um, like Jay said, we stayed in the same place the entire time. So, we got trains out there every day. Um, we also saw Kamakura, which um, was home to Kotoku in Buddha, which was really amazing. So when we were there, um, Japan was going through this really strange heat wave. Like for July, they were everyone was saying, um, all the locals were saying that like the temperatures that we were getting that week were like Abnormal. insane for what it should be. Totally Apparently the normal. temperatures we were getting were like what they usually get in like the heat of August. It was about 40 degrees. I think the highest mm. we saw it was 42 degrees. And yeah, us... so we didn't, we didn't do full days out every day because that was mad and we were also recommended by our family members to not do that because um it can be quite dangerous especially if you're not getting enough liquids Isabel in being you fair and things skinned like, and ginger yeah. like no it's like being trying yeah. to make a joke out of it mm. you know you can get some so, stroke very easy basically um we would pick kind of like one thing that we wanted to see every day didn't we yeah. and make that the kind of goal rather than having like a whole place we want to see in a day that would take up the whole day we would pick like one certain thing which is i would recommend if you are going in that kind of heat. When I went last time, it was so cool that um you didn't mind spending like a full eight hour day doing things and going out. But um, so yeah, that's maybe a, a tip from me. Yeah. Um, but Kamakura was really good. It was about uh, an hour and a half on the trains. Um, it wasn't too bad. It was the furthest we went from where we stayed, and it was a uh, it was a really nice. It, the craziest thing about Japan is that everywhere is so clean and you feel so safe and it's, it's so quiet that's why i kept saying to you wasn't it we were, we're in like the middle of a city but it seems so quiet um sorry if it's getting darker by the way it's slowly getting darker in, in seoul yeah. it's about half seven in seoul but um japan is very clean i mean mm. if if i was to go to england and i was to go to a pub and say i needed a number two uh, theoretically speaking i would never dream of doing it because i knew it would be filthy mm. In Japan, you've got no problem at all because it's just everything is so clean. Now, the toilets are absolutely wicked. Mm. So they've got the little toilet there, warmers, so they warm the seat up. They've got little sprays so you can play music if you want to be quiet. Mm. Stuff like that. It's absolutely amazing. It's mind boggling. But every single toilet's got that. Every single one. McDonald's, they've got it in the hotel, they had it. Literally every toilet that I went to, if that's not weird, then yeah, I, they had all these and it was so fascinating. Um, what else did we see? We also went into Shinagawa. We went to an aquarium there, which was really good. We went into Shibuya mm -hmm. and saw the infamous Shibuya crossing where um, that scene in Tokyo Drift is filmed. Well, Han uh, died. <laughs> so upset. But me and Isabel having this conversation. How does she not think Tokyo Drift is the best Fast and Furious oh, film that's stop. there? How? Let's stop. What? It is absolute, from, from the start all the way to the end. I know I haven't got Min Diesel in and stuff, and that's maybe why you don't like it as much because he's a good looking guy. But. It is the best one, Isabel. Like honestly, just tell Isabel it is the best Tokyo Drift, it, it, it best Fast and Furious that is created. Anybody that doesn't think number five is that the one with the safe? Is the best one. Is the that the one, one with the safe? That is a good one. That is a good one. I like the theme music at the end. I can't remember what it is. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Because at the end of four, Dom gets arrested, doesn't it? And then five starts with them breaking him out. Breaking of him out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're going completely off topic. Sorry. <laughs> so um, so yeah, we did loads of different um trips to different places. They were all gorgeous. When we were staying with um, 
the family we went up Mount Sukuba, right which to is the top the as well, which we walked all the way to the top. We definitely didn't get the cable car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also went on oh, the first day. We went round Narita. After we got off the plane, we went round there, and that was really nice that as was well. Narita was really nice. We, we tried saw eel. Is he tried? I tried eel. What? No, you did try. I it. did. Yeah, it yeah. Just, I didn't really like it at all. <laughs> um, we went to a terror. Which is um, Japanese for shrine. I would, talking about um, temples and things, I would may before go if you're planning on going, I would recommend researching and googling the kind of things you have to do to be respectful in Japan, um, because it is a country that is so big on respect that yeah. you know that you don't want to do anything that is disrespectful. Or offend um, anyone. Yeah, because the people are so nice. Even yeah. if you do, like, just for that, you don't want to offend anybody that's being nice to you. Yeah. But there are, like, certain things that you do when you go into temples. You have certain things you say before and after eating. There's it's like you need to wash your hands before you go into it. Um, into the temple, yeah. But there's a certain way you need to do it. It's like from your left hand to your right hand, your right hand to your left hand. And then to your mouth. And then to your mouth. And then, and then yeah. both your hands. We, you've got to do that, essentially. But if I if we went with someone who was from Japan, we wouldn't have had a clue and we would have disrespected someone because it's not just a place, it's a religion. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's a big, big, big thing, you know. It's, it's like going to somewhere Muslim and disrespecting that. Mm. But it's, um, yeah, even like the way you hold chop, um, place chopsticks and things like that. It's just, it's always useful any country you go to to Google the things you should and shouldn't do. Like we know before going to certain countries in Southeast Asia, I have to cover up like my shoulders and chest and things like that. And it, it's, respectful and um, people that don't do that i i don't really understand why there's there's no need to disrespect any kind of group because you know when people come to england they try and be respectful of how we do things so it's only fair that we do it back um, so yeah and price wise of stuff you might have seen our um eating only 7-eleven for a day that was good for the novelty of it but it's not what we would recommend it's quite expensive um if you can if you feel comfortable um just going into Japanese restaurants, that's where you'll find the cheapest, good quality food. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, you can find cheap food in 7-Elevens, but they're like crisps and snacks, and they're not, gonna, they're not a meal that's going to fill you up, which is what we found. Mm -hmm. um, whereas going into a proper restaurant, yeah, it might be the same price as buying quite a few things from 7-Eleven, but it's a big meal that's going to fill you up, and potentially you could only need one other small meal that day, which is kind of how we did it, didn't we? Yeah. And it was um, food for thought. No, I totally agree with Isabel there. It was like, went to 7-Eleven, I bought like two, essentially like microwave meals, but it was like Japanese stuff. And that came to like 1,400 yen, which isn't a lot, don't get us wrong. Then we went to the restaurant next to the, next door to the hotel we were staying at. And we got two humongous, fresh, freshly cooked, just healthy, it was like chicken, cabbage, um, I had an egg yolk in it to make a rich uh, rice, stuff like that, and it was... Like one thousand two hundred. Mm. So like you, you know, you do, you do the maths. You're getting a really good meal rather than like microwave like crap. So just, just do it for the essentially that thought. Mm. Um, and it was amazing. But another thing we would recommend is um, try not to use your card to pay for things. I know sometimes getting like um, a big chunk of money out of the ATM, you can worry that you're not going to spend it all, or you don't want to carry a lot of cash on you. But Japan is quite a cash-driven country still. Um, and if not for that, do it so that you don't get charged the transaction fee on your debit or credit card. So I was kind of making a mistake of going to a 7-Eleven and I was like, oh, we'll keep the cash, we can go for the restaurant and stuff like that. And I was tapping my card and I'd say I was buying a monster and the monster's £1.11. Realistically, it was costing me £2.60 because I was getting charged £1.50 mm. transaction fee. We do, we did have, we do have travel cards, but, um, they don't work everywhere. Yeah, uh, that's the problem with them. So, you know, if you if you plan on using a card, um, I would recommend going to an ATM in Seven Eleven, which is where most of the ATMs are, and just drawing out a chunk of money. Because worst case, you just get it exchanged back, or you know, usually you'll just get it's works out better. Even if you get two small amounts of money out, that works out better. The transaction fee works out better than spending it like using your card five times a day so yeah. literally literally so definitely do that um if you smoke in japan hmm. obviously i'm a smoke myself so just to give me the little tips i know it's not really a big thing but 
You can't no, smoke. I think it's the... good because I didn't know this. You can't smoke in the streets. Do not smoke in the streets. Mm-mm. When you go to Japan, you'll notice there's no litter on the floor whatsoever. There's no tablets. There's nothing like that. So there's smoking rooms. Like we went to a shopping center in Shinagawa, and there's like a little room, a smoking room, just fine smoking rooms. Do not smoke in the streets. You'll get fined. I think it's twenty thousand yen, which is quite a lot of money. But just, just trust me. Just don't do it. Just wait. <laughs> it's really not worth it. Um, no. I don't know that first experience because I wasn't smoking on the streets but yeah even if you you're finding it difficult to find somewhere please just be respectful again it's a country that's really big on respect and doing things the way they expect you to mm-hmm. and um you don't want to be fined two thousand pounds for just yeah. smoking on the street yeah it's not worth it you use price of tab you can buy like 50 packs of tabs tabs are really cheap but like oh and there's vending machines for them there's vending mm-hmm. machines for everything you probably know that because that's what japan's quite famous for but 400 yen for a pack of tubs, which is literally nothing. I think it's like three pound odd. Mm. So say it's, you pay, I was paying ten pound in England, so doing the maths. It's something I definitely want to stop doing though. Um, but yeah, overall, Japan was absolutely amazing. Me and Isabel enjoyed it. We had a really good time. Um, we got, you know, we're just we're just happy to be here. We're happy to be experiencing all these, mm. all this stuff that we're experiencing. Like we're so lucky with. We generally are so lucky that we're in this position where we can actually go and travel and you know we haven't got any children we haven't got any bills you know nothing like that and we're just happy we're like literally the same person so it, yeah it, we're really enjoying it and stay tuned well if you want to see more about our time in japan look back at some of our previous videos and if you would like to see more of our time in south korea and the more travels that we're going to be doing from here mm-hmm. our next stop is hong kong um subscribe also follow on Insta- instagram as well yeah just Izzy same and... handle as youtube and we Izzy post and photos on their way all the time <laughs> we don't really do <laughs> izzy does a reels on there mm. absolutely amazing <sighs> but yeah um i hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one which is going to be south korea and by the way after south korea we're going to hong kong mm-hmm. kung fu sweet and sour chicken Bao so buns. hot Bao buns, yeah. Right. See you next time. See ya. Bye.